Hello friends and greetings from Iceland. This footage is from a few days ago when we visited Snæfellsnes Peninsula in the west of Iceland. There is a beautiful village called Arnarstapi. That's where I am flying drone about. It's a popular stop on Snæfellsnes day tour from Reykjavik. It's a one day tour that you, anybody can take if you vis visit Iceland or you can drive there yourself. Uh, there is a very beautiful coastline here, nature reserve, and the village itself uh, is situated at the foothills of an active volcano called Snæfellsjökull. Yeah, very difficult name, you can break your tongue while spelling it, Snæfellsjökull. <laughs> and it will be visible soon in the background, the mountain covered with a glacier on the top just right now. There in the background, behind the Stapafat, this cone mounting to the front is called Stapafat, and just behind it there is Snæfellsjökull Yokut volcano. And this village actually is situated on the lava fields from this volcano. All this land around here is um, the lava from Snæfellsjökull Yokut that spilled uh, at one time or another. Basaltic lava in through centuries, the ocean eroded uh, the lava fields and formed this beautiful basaltic coastline, basaltic cliffs, some some places we have columns and arcs as you see uh, and it's a really beautiful hike to take here, usually people stop for half an hour uh, or one hour and they hike the coastline exploring those um, uh, rock, rock cliffs and the arcs which form it in them through the millennia. Uh, there are some restaurants here, hotels, and what's special about Snæfellsjökull volcano, which is behind here? Uh, it is believed to be the energy center of our planet, sort of a chakra. And there are some special things uh, taking place there once in a while. For example, there was apparition of Virgin Mary very close from here, just like two kilometers at Heltnar, to Icelandic bishop called Gudmundur the Good. She appeared there with three angels uh, to this Icelandic bishop saint from Middle Ages, 13th century, and she instructed him to um, uh, dedicate a spring to her, uh, what he did. And the water from this spring uh, is believed to have um, supernatural powers. It's curing water, cures from diseases. Uh, at least it's believed so by the locals. Uh, the place is called uh, Mariulindi, or the springs of Virgin Mary, or Gwenderbrunnur, the well of Gudmundur, the saint. It's in Hatlnar, nearby, next village, just at the foothills of the same volcano. Then there had been appar uh, apparitions of all kinds of creatures, uh, supernatural creatures, uh, in the caves, on the top of the mountain. People go there to meet aliens and things like that. So. Um, it's a special place in terms of um, the energies which uh, uh, surround this mountain for some reason. And uh, some say if you go here to this uh, village or around this volcano, there's so much energy that it's really disturbing you sleep and you have difficulties to fall asleep. I don't know. Uh, beautiful waterfall here, as you see. And there are very few houses. It's a very small village. Uh, now, what's special else about this mountain, Snæfellsjökull, just behind there? Now we will fly to the lava, which it emitted uh, a few thousand years ago. Uh, it features in Jules Verne novel, Journey to the Center of Earth, which takes place here at this volcano. Two Germans accompanied by one Icelander, they descend to the, cent to the center of Earth, and they exit their journey in Stromboli volcano in Italy. So this is a setting of Jules Verne novel from this um, village, from this volcano. And here you see the lava which was spilling over the elderly lava, older lava. This is a rather new flow, maybe 1000 years old. See, there have been numerous massive flows from this volcano. The mountain itself is around 2000 meters high above the sea level, so it's a pretty big mountain. The queen of volcanoes in Iceland, and it's active volcano. It might erupt at any time in the future. We don't know when, but the last eruptions were sometime uh, uh, in the Middle Ages, long time. 
and this is the road that you drive to reach this volcano. Then just uh, above here, if you drive the road above, there are some caves where singing noises had been heard, also from some unearthly creatures. Angelic creatures from the cave, they're singing clave, cave there. So amazing place to visit if you have time. This uh, mountain is called Stapafat, and the village itself, Arna Stapi, Eagles Mountain. Stapi is a sort of a mountain type in Icelandic. Probably eagles had been nesting around this hill here. So, this is what I wanted to, sh to tell you about this village called Arna Stapi. Uh, in Iceland, in the west of Iceland, at the foothills of an active volcano called Snæfellsjökull, which is covered by a small glacier. And, um, if you have a chance to visit it, uh, I recommend to do it. It's a great day tour, but make sure you go in a good weather. Check if there is no rain or wind here, because this area can be especially windy and rainy some days. Because it's a tip of a peninsula, a long peninsula that stretches into the sea called it Snæfell's Ness, the cape of snowy mountain after the volcano. I wish you all the best, be well and greetings from Iceland.